Alright, here we are again. I'm going to try out a new Legacy deck for me. Let's see, and I'm going to try to uh, one-up my opponent here. Or we could just do it randomly, I don't care. I'm going to say... this one. Hmm. Yeah, he's already cut. I already... Oh, poor thing. Are you okay back there? But we have rock. We have scissors. Dang it. Let's just just for just for like transparency. This is a paper. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It never seems to show up between the two of us. All right. Set these aside. I guess unless we need a token. Uh, I think I'll need a few tokens. I think I've already cut yours, so you're good. Okay. Um, I'll take the play. Shoot. Sure. Yeah. I will need those actually at some point. If you're wondering what my deck is, if the title's ambiguous at this point, uh, don't worry, you'll get to see this. There'll hopefully be a deck tech after this as well. You need to decide if I'm going to pick them up one way or the other. Huh. Yeah, okay, so I think that I unsided. Yeah, go for it. I'm not looking. I hurt. Wait, now it's I'm looking. Like... Now I'm looking. Okay, you got the, the screen is turned. Okay, go for it. Do your thing. Oh, are you done? I'm done. Okay. They can yeah. press pause if they need to. Right. You keeping? Because I am keeping. Okay. There we go. I'll keep, yeah. Volcanic Island. Show me the money. Monster Swiss Spear. Yes. Attack form. No probes or anything? Okay. Have me down to 19. Right off the bat. Go ahead. <clears throat> hmm. Wasteland? Wasteland? Yep. It is. Pass turn. One two. That's right. This is what I get for leaving my playmat over at the store, getting to use a poster. On the other hand, I get to use a poster. Anything else? Anything before damage? 18. Legacy! One per turn. Go ahead. Very fair legacy here. I'm okay with this. Planes. Pass turn. Gotta cover her private parts, apparently. Not intentional, but it works. Uh, well, let me just show you that. I'll fetch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Might as well show while we're doing this. So this is what I have currently. I'm gonna set it so that you can pause at any one of them and read. Yes. Cast. Uh oh. Young Pyro. Uh oh. Hi Pyro. Yes. It resolves. Okay. I'll type for one. Alright, that's it? Yep. Okay. 17. Your turn. Yes. Oh. Now I could go a number of ways with this one. I'm not sure which is right. <coughs> because that's the draw. Hmm. Spell sky. Days. Alright, faster. Sure you get us get her scissors lizards. I got you. Thank you. Nom 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 nom. So between the two of us, since we keep getting rock and scissors, I are you the scissors and I'm the rock? I don't know. Um yay yay. yay. I'm a dainty little slip of paper. This is a 
four three. <laughs> uh, that can't attack with block. Just kidding. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Ouch. Anything for damage? Nope. Thirteen. Young peasy. Okay. Your turn. Yes. That's a thing. That happens. That's a thing that happens. Where's land? Yep. Where's the resolve? I would like to resolve a Stoneforge Mystic. I suppose. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I guess you can't be too worried about it with Lightning Bolt in hand. Um, what are you talking about? Alright, so results? Yep. That's not. That's just me thinking about what I get before I go for it. Batter skull, batter skull, ooh, bad. Now that I have batter skull, let me just show you. That's my germ token. Oh, what a classy it has the top bag. Oh yeah. Are you okay back there? Not there yet. Oh, Jace over here praising the sun. Get you off the volcano. Sure. And then you go. What? What did I do? So lightning bolt, stone first missile. Yes. I guess those can't attack yet, so we'll tear them or something. Woo! Land. Yes. Seven, or hit me by, by seven, put me down two six. Yes? I think she's, uh, I don't know if she's gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> she's over there just doing this wildly. That looks to be game. I want to show you my hand, but let's wait till let's wait till the, after the match. I'll I'll put it up on on camera so everybody else can see. And we've got the wonderful little ball of love to that. Ah, there she is. There she is. And there's the hand. Oh yeah yeah. Ah, thank you. I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm working on just using one hand here. Not working quite as well as I would have liked. Alright, yeah, that got me. Now for sideboards. Okay. Hey. Time to break out the sulfur elementals. <laughs> now we're recording.
Aha. Yeah, I guess we don't need those right now. There we go. I will be on the play. An excellent choice. <laughs> Never took the top card, you only. It was a, it was another land. You always regret it. Oh. It's just it's extra information. I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna let it tilt me. And plus, we're on camera; they can see. Although I neglected to show them what it was. Suffice to say, it was a one land hand, and it was another land on top. Mm. That cardboard crack comic about how hard I'm praying, and the first one is like there's a cop. Uh, behind me with their sirens on, their lights on, and the second one is my boss may catch me being late to work, and then the third and by far the most prominent of them is when I am praying for a second land after keeping a one lander. Mm. Oh, you're kidding me. Nope. From one to nine, that'll do it. That's no fun. No, 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 not at all. Otherwise, it would have been eminently capable. Hmm. I still think looking at it without knowing the top of my deck, it was the right thing to shove it. Um, because had I been wrong, it would have been disastrous, especially against a deck like yours that gets off the ground as quickly as it does. Here we go. Look. I'll need it. Alright. Okay. Didn't I? I thought I sighted you out. I'm just curious, do you run an ancient then? Uh, a couple, actually. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Okie doke. Yeah. I'm afraid I have to be, yeah. Uh, let's start off with a wasteland and pass. Shielding tune. that decides my land choice. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to have the land that can get you either the Delver or the Swift Spear, but. Okay, do. I'm just gonna roll myself to 18 now. Um, another wasteland and Krakus, Thalia and Crucible. Oh boy. Which I realized I was not meaning to keep in the main board. I had a decision when I was going through the sideboard whether I should have it or not. Then I decided to myself that it's too slow, and I either put it in the wrong pile, or I don't know what the case would be. But now it's 61 in the main, 14 in the side. Which, of course, is legal now. I'll play reveal. Talk for two. Yes, I already rolled myself. Guess what I'm casting? Feel like force of willing that? No, it's okay. Pass turn. Another one? Yes. 
Okay. Um, Bastion. Hi. Swing two. I accept. All right. Actually, seventeen, so you have fifteen. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. So lucky. Mm. Crack. Okay. Yes. What about it? I can't move down to her swing. You are so pitiful. Can you go to her for like two seconds? In two seconds. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. I got your nose. <laughs> okay, fine. You can have my nose. Uh, pass one to one. Mm. Uh, I accept. Sweep the four. to do, honey. I will play that card when I feel like playing that card. <laughs> You're good? Hey, no outside help. That's right. Here's Thalia again? Yep. Pass turn. I'll talk about my horoscope later. <laughs> I, I misheard that and heard horse goat or something like that. I don't know. And we got another one. It is a sorcery. That's why you weren't doing it that way. Okay. That'll do it. Speak for four again. Ouch. I mean to eight. Your turn. Okay. Five in the yard. Agus, mm -hmm. I have X proof. Okay. Don't probe me, bro. Me. Also, yeah. don't think about that either. Um, <laughs> Yes, pithing needle. Any results? What would you like to name? I would like to name... Yeah, obviously I didn't think about this. just want the cross triggers. It's all um, good. I can't blame you for that. I'm in Batterstone. 
Okay. Uh, let's for four. Roll you up to 16. And then I'll go to 5. Oh no, excuse me, that's 2 damage. I'll go to 6. Toughness is 3. That's a Dilbert. Hi Dilbert. Go ahead. Two at you. That's quite aggressive. Block. Okay, train. Let's do it this way. I'd like to resolve a crucible. Resolves. That's treasure cruise? Yes. So that's six, train two. Hi, Delver. Swing four, two. Have me to four. Last turn. Let's waste the volcanic. Last turn. Come on, flip that Delver. Yep. Yep. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. It's because I was assuming that the Delver was going to flip anyway. It was another three damage coming at me with. Better. Th better. I see the Delver dealing me three versus the chance of there being a chain or a bolt in your hand dealing me three. Um, I figured I needed to get rid of that. I figured you would trade, but yeah, that was... I thought you were going to wrath or something. Uh, no, sadly that wasn't, that wasn't in the cards. That actually wasn't something I was thinking that you would think, because this is Legacy, but wrath. wrath of God is a card. Um, I don't see it too much. I see Cataclysm more in Death and Taxes. Wait, do you mind if we, if we keep going? Yeah. Do you want to de-sideboard or not? Doesn't matter. Yeah, let's make another match. I was also going to show you like what I was, what I sideboarded. All right, you can do that if you like. Sure. All right. Chalice, quite good. Yeah. And the uh, crucible was not supposed to be in the main, so that happened. Uh, yeah. That's what I was on about earlier. It's a sixty-one card main deck that time. I need to get. Oh, more that was a joke. No, that wasn't. That wasn't a joke. That was me uh, actually not having that. Um, very, very unintentional. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, it was supposed to be uh, these three out. I don't, do you want me to show you the, what I cited out? Because that'll give away a little bit about the deck. Um, yeah. Okay. Rest Tom is in there. Makes sense. Yeah. Did you just, um, change your honey? Or did you not change your 
No, I haven't. That's what I signed it out. Yeah. Fire blast because you run wasteland and mm -hmm. it seems a little backwards. Although you can fire blast in response to wasteland. That's right. Cool. Oh wait, it is an instant. That's right. That's right. Of course it is. And vapor snag is just kind of bad. Yeah. It's good against reanimator. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess there's a brain deck. Half the sneak and show. Yeah, not not that good against. Admittedly, you're right. Brand, but ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Here we go. Still recording. Ay, ay, ay. All right, wake up, wake up. Right. Get lands this time. Get lands. But not too many. And I'm on the play, am I? Or how we do it? Uh, do you want this one again? Or uh, rock or just, I'll, I'll, I'll choose first. This yes, time. yes, go for it. The reason I usually choose first is so that in YouTube land they don't think that I'm like I know the cards and therefore if I win it's because I cheated. That's yeah. why I usually pick first. Oh right. Just to be it's above random. reproach. Do you do random? I. We can do that. Uh, last time I picked what did first. You, okay. Last time I just. You chose. I did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it is a little bit fixed, in well, that you can choose, like, rock or scissors. I mean, uh, seeing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you didn't know which was which, so it could have gotten yeah. the paper. Oh, it's definitely random, in, yeah. in like, the result. Yeah. But, there you go. Alright, ready? Yeah. Do so you want to choose that one? I'm sure. Dang it. Oh, no, 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 no. How can a lizard beat a tiger? That makes no sense. Because it's the scissors lizard! Mwahaha! <laughs> okay, I'll keep. Um, I'm also keep. Alright. Go! Canic? Yes. Delhamon. Hi. Faster. Today's that? Um, four two one. Okay. No days. No days, man. All right. Before I start searching. Spell Skype? Hiya. Cards in hand is five. Bless you. Bless you. Why'd you drop that up to your face? To be cute, of course, mommy. We'd like to resolve a Stoneforge mystic. Stoneforge resolves? I was gonna say that's not how you use wasteland, but that was a pretty good use of wasteland. Yeah. Oh, good grief! Stop staying in a club, you guys. All the cards just wanting to be together. I'm gonna take a stab and see if foil correct is this. <laughs> no. That's always, that always happened to me. Hmm.
I'm not done. Just put it in my hand again. Fire and ice. Pass turn. Did I? Oh. Is that one? Uh, might be. Whichever one you like less, or more, yeah, to get wasted. Pass turn. And then the trigger. Dang it! What a lovely trigger. Woo! I want to see Bob hit that, not Delver. I don't uh, play in Dark Confidant. I believe you. For damage? No. Mm. Twelve. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Jay! You're playing you played the Lightning spell Bolt. sky. No, 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 I'm not playing around lightning bolt. I'll block that. You don't mind, do you? Or do you sure. wanna do you wanna take it back? That's I mean fine. it you doesn't. Block. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this. If you don't mind, I'm sorry. That was actually not my intention. I wasn't intentionally playing around bolt there. Delver. Hi Delver. Well, this is fine. Gotcha. Yes. I'm just being a doofus, that's all. Technical term. Yes. You're just sleep deprived like me. Having a kid will do that to you, admittedly. Especially when they're a newborn. Spirit? 
Which player draws no more than one card each turn? Your results. Pass turn. Good God. Brainstorm, fetch, and force of will. Jeez. Sneeze, sneeze. She's the bee sneeze. Mm -hmm. It's super effective. Anything before damage? Alright. Uh, Let's see. I should have said anything before block. Again, I'm tired. Let me. Alright, well. Do I want to kill the Swift Spear? You're pretty far out of cruise range right now, but there is a brainstorm that I know is in your hand. So I think we'll just block with the spell sky, and I'll take six. Okay, before damage. Okay. Yes. Uh, you'll uh, put two cards back from your hand. Oh. You can do a take back. You gave me take backsies, so we'll definitely let you. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what it's supposed to do. Well, it's supposed to be flashed off an ether vial in response to a treasure cruise or a brainstorm, but you know. Yeah. Um. Faster. Okay. A little too late. Five. Blue green ring. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's forcible. Pitching. I'll pitch a ring. Alright. And then that's game. Yeah. I've not been having, in testing, I've not been having this much trouble with uh, Blue Red Delver. Maybe it's just me in the moment, or maybe it's just this match. I think it's a bad matchup. You think so? It's been pretty even. Maybe I've just been experiencing it as if it were even, but it's actually not, and so now I'm seeing what it should be normally. It doesn't seem like it would be even. I have a lot of removal and you're pretty creature-based. Mm -hmm. I guess you haven't gotten ether vial. That's true. So. I this deserves more testing, indeed. It's a good thing we're doing that. Also, I don't think Wasteland is very good against me. No, I agree, 100%. But you usually don't side out lands, for obvious reasons. Spell Sky is mostly in there for an effect, actually. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's decent here. It's better than nothing. But it's not ideal either. Can I take a picture of your baby? Yes. Yeah. yeah, by all means, go for it. I wonder if anyone's made a list of as many ways as they can find. Um, maybe it'd be a collaborative list to sneak and rock into play in different formats. Um, well, there's modern. Mm. Corio's yeah. Vengeance. <laughs> There is, if you want to go to show and tell style, I'll be on the play by the way. Um, you could go into braids, conjure adept. Did I? I did not. It's still recording. Okay. Alright, I'll keep. Show it off. Um, 
It's not that exciting, but right. I will. Fair enough. Hmm. Here we go. File. File is good. Faster. This changes everything. Boink. This changes everything. Cards, tank, tank, tank. <laughs> I would like to resolve with Thalia. Uh, Thalia's good. Hmm. Pass turn. Shoot. 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 Do Casty, Amo, Nasty, Taylor Swift Spear. Yes. Nice going turn. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um. Hmm. And there you see burn. No responses. Okay. Wise cat is wise. What? Dak, I thought you were doing something. Thought you loved me. No? Okay. Dahlia? Um. Hmm. I will... Double block. Anything before damage? Um... No. Alright, we'll, we'll first strike one of the Monastery Swiss Spears, and then, before it comes around to your combat, I'll bounce to your attacking Thalia back in the second damage. I'll uh, bounce it back to my hand. Okay. Hmm. Krakus, Legend Roll? Uh huh. I would like to cast a Thalia. I will respond. Okay. Break dancing Thalia in the meantime. I think my favorite altar of this card is uh, Beautiful Joe. Have you ever played that game before? Mm -mm. Uh, they didn't make it to a very... I think it was only just two games. Um, but he has this long pink scarf, cape, no cape, that goes out from behind him that just flows whenever, whichever way it feels like, has a mind of its own. 
And so, uh, someone just had him doing his hand up like a peace sign and had his cape floating in the wind like that, yeah. I think I've seen that, like, icon before. Alright. Um... I think I'm just cutting it when I feel like it, and then sometimes, eh. Um, I'll float a blue and cast days. Yes. Thalia? Well, Aether Vial, but no response. And then Thalia. No response. Past turn? Um. Or the phase ends, I'll cast Brainstorm. Uh, you can't anymore. Uh oh, Raves. Yeah. I. Draw. That's why I was afraid if you, uh, like when I dropped Thalia instead of letting the Aether Vial trigger, or letting the ability resolve, I'm like, oh crap, now he's gonna respond. Alright. Hmm. I'll cast Ponder. Yes. Get Death Prowess trigger. I'm gonna go get the door, actually. There we are. Alright. This and... Okay. Swing for two. No blocks. 17. That's true. Alright. No. I think we're good at two. Swing two back. Take it. No fix. Yeah. Either vial? Either vial is all. Having a pay, yeah. Pass turn. Sage kitty. Okay. Just when I thought I didn't need you anymore. No blocks. Okay. Yeah. Damage is one. Okay. Four pull one and one. Paying the extra. Okay, makes sense. Uh, in response. Aether vial. Um, I'll actually respond to the trigger. Um, the ability? Yeah. Yeah. Cast Brainstorm. Uh, you, you can't. Thalia is still out. Oh, Thalia sent that. Damn it. Yeah, sure. Thalia comes right. in. So, we'll Legend Rule the old one out. And... Your turn. The other half of Forked Bolt doesn't hit me, does it? Or does it? If one of its targets is made illegal, is it no does. longer exist? Okay, so I'm at 15. Okay. Wasn't sure about that. Oh, that's right. That's if you remove all of its legal targets, then you... Like with Electrolyze, for instance, if you make all of its damage targets illegal, then they can't draw afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to... Tap either vial at end of turn. Um, stifle. <laughs> okay. Pass the Alia. Whee! Boink. Taking it up. Too many Thalias. No such thing. Too no such many thing. Thalias. 
Serial failures. Yeah, that opening hand was weird. Two. Thalia would like to swing two at you. She can do that. Okay. Fourteen. See if I gut shot. <laughs> You would have to use Caracas. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. Yeah, if you had gut shot right now, I would definitely not be expecting it. Sure. I'm telling you, man, that card's decent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I get onto it a good bit, but... Alright, so, before blockers... Uh -huh. What do you say? Rexy and Revoker would like to join the party. He's good. Revoker block. Make you cast a spell oh, to... What are you naming? Oh! Well, I'm not even sure that it matters. Uh, so I didn't even bother, but... So you can name... Wood, I want to say Wild? Wood Elemental. No, you're, you're not running Grim Lava Mancer because you're a Treasure Cruise deck. So... Uh, let's see... That's a trigger, Delver's a trigger, Pyromancer's a trigger, they're not activated abilities. Um, I'm trying to think if there is anything. You went and have Relic in there. Um, I know I should at least make a good faith effort here, but... <sighs> I, I'm tempted just to name Wood Elemental. Okay. <laughs> Let's name Wood Elemental. Why not? When else am I going to ch get a chance to do that? And you block? I would like to block, yes. Excellent. Uh oh. I'll cast lightning bolt on Dahlia. I would like to bounce my Thalia. Sure. Uh, okay. Damage? Yes, you may now go. Yeah. So, Revoker's dead. He's dead, Jim! Now I can finally cast my brainstorm. <laughs> But I believe we have bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Trigger screws? Ah, damn it. Um, in response, I maybe should. Well, it doesn't matter. You floated anyway. I don't have any mana floating. Oh, like in response to a wasteland on the volcanic, you just float the oh. blue to treasure crews. Well, I have priority. Wait, no, that Unless was during combat. during combat. That's during combat. I could have done that, actually. Maybe that's the, maybe I'm just half asleep right now, or maybe I'm just a terrible player. Uh, yeah, Treasure Cruise resolves. Okay, pass turn. Aether Vop? Yep. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Becca Hi. thinks your baby is very adorable. Who? <laughs> um, Becca. Hmm. My friend, I sent the picture to. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think she's adorable too. I would like to resolve a G tank. I will cast these. Yes. And now I'm going to lie back down. We, well, that could have been something. No, it wouldn't have worked. Okay. Ugh. Hey, Devon. You know hey. what's coming. Thalia. The Thalia that oh. never dies. Past turn. Except when she does. Let's see if we're bolt here. And Legend Rule, that was what got the other one. Legend Rule to dodge a fork bit. Um, I suppose we will cast a fork bolt for two mana.
So you activate the ether rail? Yes. And I'll cast Brainstorm. Okay. There'll be a fetch somewhere in there. I shouldn't make you... I, the list doesn't have Stifle in it. I should know that, so I shouldn't have to do shenanigans like that. I also do Rancliffe, Grimloth, and Mansur in the sideboard. In the sideboard, I believe you. Absolutely. Um, Hi. Have and this talk? is the sideboard again. Oh, I, didn't, I still didn't think you'd bring it in, to be honest. It's um, really good against you. Treasure Cruise and Grimloth, and Mansur at the same time, though? Really good. Yeah. yeah. When you're not casting cruises, you're, casting Grim, you're using Grimloth, and Mansur. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he's getting that much value... I probably wouldn't go to the face with it, unless I was about to kill you. I think I need to do this while you're tapped out. Uh, Enlightened Tutor? Sure. Yeah. I think you are a little too late, actually. Oh, poor thing. I'm tempted to say that's too late as well. Spirit? Mm-hmm. Huh? Okay, I don't like that too much either. Past turn. Indeed, I don't. I'll play this turn first. Mm -hmm. No cipher. All right, you're good. You got me down by one. Yeah. Eleven. Okay. Man, this game, this grindy game. You know what I need? A white delve card. Sulfuric Vortex. Beginning of each player's upkeep, two damage. A player would gain life. No mas. Okay. Your turn. So much for that batter skull.
Yes, sir. Yes. Deuce. So. Cast ponder. Resolves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spirit. Yeah, I figured. Mighty bolt. Okay. Results? Yes. Well, so much for that. I had to try. Ponder, Treasure Cruise, Lightning Bolt. Yep. Four. Mm -hmm. And... Fetch. Okay. Get you to 11. Island, cast over. Alright. Then I'll go to three on my turn. Nice, in response, Phyrexian Revoker, but you can just kill it with the Swiss Spear anyway, so, yeah, okay. That'll do it. Yep, GG's. <sighs> yeah. So do you mind if I deck tech this pretty quickly? Sure. What it's supposed to do? I think maybe I've just been getting a bad sample, or maybe I've, maybe I've, just aim asleep. But it may be that I'm just getting a bad sample when I test, because maybe you're right, it is the case that I, uh, that the match is unfavorable for me. Hmm. Aegis of Honor, just because I slide out the combo. I'm considering keeping uh, Rest in Peace in, because it hits Treasure Cruise, but then Helm of Obedience is terrible in this match. Mm -hmm. Um, and if I'm not running Helm, it makes it disincentivizes playing Rest because that's all it does. Hits Treasure Cruise and Lava Mancer. If you, I you say you have them both in. Uh, mm -hmm. You had Treasure Cruise and Lava Mancer. Yeah. See, I I mean. Well, think, I granted, about, I don't, think about it this way: Would you uh, run four Treasure Cruise and a Dig Two Time? Uh, in standard, yeah. I think I would. Not in Legacy. In that kind of deck, I'm not sure. Um, well, in any deck. No, no, I, I don't think in any deck that I would. Um, I like Feline Longmore's Bringing Back Solidarity. Uh, and she has Dig Through Time, but no Treasure Cruise. Um, the guy that piloted this to win an SCG Open the first week afterwards ran Treasure Cruise, but not Dig Through Time, just because he needed Velocity in the deck. and. You can cast it for one cheaper with enough delve cards. I, I think I see the point you're trying to make, though, which is they're both good enough that even though they interact with each other poorly, you can st you're still incentivized mm -hmm. to play both. Yeah, it, it exiles fewer cards than a treasure cruise, mm -hmm. generally. And, you know, five treasure cruises would be amazing. I mean, treasure cruise is better than Grimlava Mancer. Admittedly, yeah. Now, but you can get three cards with a value out of Grimlava Mancer. There is also a, um, actually, did I just put, no, there it is. I'll keep these over here, alphabetize them. Um, if I were running regular Death and Taxes, Grim Lava Mancer gets beaten by Mother of Runes. And so if you don't know that I don't have Mother of Runes in this list, that disincentivizes playing uh, Grim Lava Mancer uh -huh. as well. But I see, where, I see where you're going with that. 
I would not not play Lightning Bolt just because you're playing Mother of Runes. No, well, also. Lightning Bolt can also just shoot over me anyway. Um, Aegis of the Gods isn't that popular in these lists. Uh, in Death and Taxes in general. Same thing with Spirit of the Labyrinth. The reason I'm running both is because of, to me, the most underrated card in Legacy, Enlightened Tutor. Uh, it's card disadvantage, but you can say the same thing about Mystical Tutor, which is, of course, banned. Um, so the deck runs 20 lands. Et voila! Here this we are. Is this, all, this is all main on this side? Yeah, sideboard is down at the bottom, main board is everything from lands up. Uh, so the idea is, I was originally wanting to make a deck that used uh, worship to keep myself from losing the aggro matches. Uh, the idea being that I could play some... It, actually, it started as a modern idea, originally, way back. Um, because worship's legal and modern, go figure. Uh, get some artifact or enchantment creatures out, and resolve worship, and then aggro matches, ideally anyway, wouldn't be able to beat me after that point. Um, in Legacy, I have access to Enlightened Tutor instead of just having to rely on, say, Fabricate or Idyllic Tutor. So I figured this deck worked a little bit better. And then when I tested, uh, the matches when I mo needed Worship the most, it never could stay. It never would resolve. So something like, I guess the, the fastest... The fastest deck that actually mattered when it came to that was Merfolk. Sometimes Merfolk would be slow enough I could get to four mana, four lands never resolves. Um, or if so, just, uh, oh, what's the, uh, not, not Vapor Snag, it's a two-drop, Echoing Truth, right? Echoing Truth? Mm -hmm. That's a sideboard card. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, it never resolves, literally never resolves against Miracles. You're never going to see that happen. Um, I can't get it against, uh, well, I don't know. Occasionally it would come in against something like Grixis Delver, or Blue Red Delver, or Blue White Red Delver, but just ever so occasionally. Most of the time, when it actually mattered, uh, Esper Deathblade had also no. You know, then I can't get it out. So instead I shifted over to, well, okay, if I'm not going to just have a bunch of creatures and try to win off that, um, then what's the point of having a bunch of other... What's the point of having all of these little guys? It's like death and taxes, but worse if that's all you're doing. It's like a tutorable death and taxes. Yeah. Um, and then I got to thinking that, yeah, Rest Helm, that's, that's another way I could do it. Um, if the game gets grindy enough, or if I get lucky enough, I already want Rest and Peace in the main board anyway. Reanimator's too big of a thing, Deathblade, uh, decks like Ten Fins, where I can cruise. just eat them. Yeah, Treasure Cruise in general, where Rest and Peace resolving means that they have a hard time winning at that point. So... If I'm running Rest in Peace, run Helm of Obedience. Both sides are tutorable with Enlightened Tutor. Um, the other choice to me was Painter Grindstone, which is cheaper and all colorless, uh, but if I do it that way, then Imrakul, uh, will, uh, Imrakul Progenitus, mostly just Imrakul, mm -hmm. will keep coming back. So my 12 post match is terrible, my sneak and show match is terrible, if I do it that way. Uh, mm -hmm. Painter Grindstone can still win off or Imperial Painter can still win off the regular aggro plan after, at that point, but uh, I don't know if I get there doing the same thing. Um, so then it became, I can either win off just little creatures, I can win off this combo, um, because it's death and taxes and true name nemesis is a thing, Sword of Fire Nice, plus your two usual suspects, Batter Skull and Gite. It's death and taxes, so four source to plot shares, uh, and a tutorable Swords to Plowshares in Oblivion Ring. Uh, just being able to get rid of something like a moat that may keep me from having a chance, may keep me from winning. Um, Crucible to fight the control matches. I do, after all, have four Wastelands and four Horizon Canopy, um, which conveniently lets me get around Spirit of the Labyrinth. As long as I use Horizon on their turn, sure. I draw, and then on their turn I draw Scrub, Rinse, Repeat. Uh, can get Ancient Den, so I can get a land with Enlightened Tutor. Aether Vial to help me play against counter decks. And then all of these guys do a little bit of something. The only one with an activated ability other than obviously Stoneforge, Spell Sky. Um, I keep wanting to add blue in this. I keep wanting to splash that. But 
I don't really win against Blood Moon if I do. Uh, six basic planes. Hmm. I, I think going below that puts me at too much risk. Although, what do you think about adding some fetch lands in and then recurring them with like a crucible or something? I like that. If you're running crucible, I would definitely run fetch lands. All right. Yeah, I can I can see that. Like, I don't know if you need two ancient done. Because um, you generally, I mean, if you have a mana to use enlightened tutor, you know, you won't need the second one. You won't need to get two unless you're playing this wasteland. Oh, and then you're playing in that wasteland, case, more or, planes are better. Or you, you'll notice that the deck only has 12 one drops. Aether Vial, Enlightened Tutor, Source to Plowshares. Getting to two is crucial. I, and so if I have a hand with Ancient Den and Aether, Enlightened Tutor and that's it, or if I need to waste them, yeah. Uh, in that case, being able to go and get the second one. Or if it just gets to the later game and I can finally start re uh, resolving Helm or Hardcasting Batter Skull or something. Getting to the second Ancient Den. Uh, I think is where it's at. Yeah. It's hand disadvantage, but it's consistency. Um, I really do think that card is very underrated. Suppo what I'm supposed to be able to do, Aether Vial makes cards like Aether Swarm Cannon, Aegis of the Gods, Phyrexian Revoker, and Spear of the Labyrinth, and Spell's Guide do tremendous things, mm -hmm. I find. Um, so in testing, uh, Casting Treasure Cruise in response to Spirit of the Labyrinth, or Brainstorm in response to Spirit of the Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Those are the most common ways to just mess with people. Aegis of the Gods in response to something that's supposed to kill me, like uh, like a Tendrils of Agony. Or Thoughtseize. Or Thoughtseize, or a, a Blue Sun Zenith for yes, or something silly like that. Well, Thoughtseize doesn't really kill me, but you, you know, stuff like that. Um, especially if it's re in response to something that's supposed to end the game. Uh, one Aether Swan Cannonist in main because otherwise I don't really do well against Storm. I've got Thalia, Aether Sworn, Aegis, but if it's especially if it's Burning Storm, they can just go and get uh, Empty the Warrens instead. So this isn't enough. Mm -hmm. um, Spirit of Lava is decent against them too. It is, but once they've gotten to the point where they already have the resources, they don't need to ponder a Brainstorm anymore. Yeah. Uh, they actually don't need to draw any for well, their. Yeah. Uh, like Infernal Tutor, for instance, is... But it, it's just against as as any other... Against any other deck that cantrips. That's right. Spellskites, because Infect is... Uh, is very similar, actually. I have a hard time beating Infect without turn one, tutor up, Spellskite, turn two, cast Spellskite, and I don't care about life. Uh, occasionally do something against Burn for me, or, uh... I was hoping it would do something against your deck. Um, looking back at it, tutoring up Spellskite might not have been the right thing, um, but being able to soak up like two bolts or being able to always have a blocker for one of your creatures that is not named Delver of Secrets, um, I thought is where I needed to be. Mm -hmm. Looking back at it though, that, was, pr that yeah. was probably wrong. I don't think defensive plays are where you want to go unless you're really desperate. Yeah. That, that could be... That I don't think is fatigue. That I think is just lack of experience playing against the deck. Like maybe or lack of experience with the deck. A tutor for Jitae? Mm -hmm. mm. I try not to. Um, actually, in my hand at the time, I think I only had one creature that wasn't Spell Sky. Well, that that was in the deck. Um, dazing Jitae is... Maybe it was a risk I had to take, actually. I don't know. Um, I'm still getting used to the deck. The deck is about... In, in its current form, it's a little over a week old. It was supposed to be played at the last Star City Games. Um, the main board is actually pretty well established. It's the sideboard cards that start messing with me. Uh, for burn, for a lot of chalice, for a lot of stuff, but that actually I don't think is supposed to be in the final list. As much as I like Chalice of the Void, it's very, you know, turn one or two or bust. So mm -hmm. only having one. Uh, and, and you can see the curve between Aether Vial and the curve being two or higher for the most part, I actually don't care too much about Chalice at one. Yeah. I'm hoping my opponents care a lot. Imrakul is the only non tutorable part of this deck, and that's because of Painter Grindstone. Sneak and Show to a lesser extent, or, but mostly it's for Painter Grindstone. Uh, just so that they can't grind me to death. Mm -hmm. um, Graph Digger's Cage for the card, like Elves, Reanimator, that sort of thing. 
Uh, humility, again, for uh, show and tell. Uh, just being able to invalidate all of their creatures. Uh, Leyline for burn, Enrique Gusari for death blade, stone blade, mm -hmm. uh, death and taxes. Nevermore for decks that have one or two win cons. Uh, if I can get that out, the idea is that hopefully they won't be able to actually finish me off. Uh, Pithing Needle just Sadly, Phyrexian Revoker doesn't hit everything. I love that it hits mana abilities, but it has to be non-lands. Uh, I am quite alright with being able to hit lands with Pith and Needle. Yes. Uh, and it's a one-drop as well, so easy enough to get early in the game. Ratchet Bomb was brought in for your, your young Pyro tokens, uh, and your Delver if it flips, or just Delver's Swiss Bear. Not so much for the Pyromancer, but if I get there, that would be nice. Uh, Ruined Halo is very similar. Uh, if you've only got one, if you've got a Grizzle Brain that's trying to hit me, and that's about all you've got going for you, um, or if you, if you're trying to hit me with Tendrils of Agony, they're all the same name. Uh, Ruined Halo to stop that. Uh, that's another card though that's maybe not supposed to be in the final list. And then Feast and Famine, because Tarmogoyf yes. is a card. Oh dear. And combo. I, I can bring it in against combo, too, and try to get, keep them off that critical mass of cards, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe switch it in for Sword of Fire and Ice. I like Sword of Fire and Ice being better. I do. I, absolutely. Oh, I mean when we go to game two. Oh, okay. Say I'm playing like a, like Ant or Tess, switch Fire and Ice with Feast and Famine. Yeah, sure. Um, there is a little dissynergy with Spirit of the Labyrinth and Fire and Ice. Uh, the sh shock and draw, the draw part goes away. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit going on there, actually. Um, but thankfully, I think that's the only draw effect that is sorcery speed, well, not sorcery speed, that isn't Horizon Canopy in the deck. So it doesn't hurt me too much. I think something that would really help this deck All right. is Mother of Runes. She's not tutorable, but. Neither is Stoneforge Mystic, but she is really that good. She's really, I think she's what makes Death and Taxes good. Without without her, the creatures are just small, and they die. Hmm. And these guys, you don't need four spirits if you're supposed to be tutoring for them anyway. You don't need yeah. three ages, especially because that's, that know, is that's true. a little more niche than Spirit of the Labyrinth. I am running some cards, like Phyrexian Revoker is basically... Uh, it's a worse grizzly bear against a lot of Delver list. Um, Rug Delver especially. It's just, it's just. That, but I'm still running four because it's that good when it matters. I can see where you're coming from, uh, and it would give me something to violin at one. This that's a mm -hmm. huge issue I think I have with the deck. Two, 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 two. So violet two is glorious. Violet one actually doesn't have anything it can put into play. Um, also, uh, Storm, or, uh, Mom makes the game go longer, so you can play defense much better and find your rest combo or, you know, win with Batter Skull or Crucible Advantage. I'll give that a look. Uh, I haven't actually tested, I haven't built it with Mother yet and tried it out. Uh, most of what I'm doing is online on, like, Cockatrice or MTG Workstation. I'm not doing it on, on Moto. Hmm. All right. Do you think the Crucible is good enough to be main board? Um. Theoretically, if you can get there. Hmm. Like it's really good against control, and I mean, right now it's I don't it's hard to get to this point where you use Crucible. Mm-hmm. No, I agree a hundred percent. Um being able to just make it to three mana in a 20 land deck um, in game one is and, often an issue. And where you're casting Crucible instead of responding to their threats mm -hmm. or hosing them or whatever. Hmm. All right. Well, that's, that's its current incarnation. Um, you're working on switching it out to, uh, switching your deck out to Jeskai? Yep. All right. I'm doing some research. Sweet. And I'm a little disappointed that a lot of these lists don't play on Pyromancer. Hmm. 
Um, I'm trying to think if that's because they don't have as many instants and sorceries. I think it's because they're playing true name instead. I don't have any true name nemesis. Ah. Do you know what nemesis means? Uh, Is that from something? Yeah, it's a uh, brick top from Snatch, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, it's Snatch. And then it gives me an excuse to play my classy germ. Classy germ token. Gives him a hat and everything. And I think those are supposed to be wings on the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're wings. Yeah, this deck's a lot different than I feel like creating. Understood. Also, I don't have batter skull. You can always borrow. Um, dang it. Why don't we sleeve the germ token up and um, we'll treat it like batter skull? Sure. You want to do that, Dev? Mm -hmm. uh, sleeve up the germ token and treat it as batter skull? No. Um, the sideboard's completely different. Alright. And it uses. Name and spell pierce. It's more like death, like yeah. stone blade. Let me see if I can just. Oh, it's yeah, it's spell. surely done enough for recording. Um, if I'm going to cut anything, do you think that Rev I think Revoker is the weakest of the artifacts and enchantments that I have right now that yeah. I have out here. Um, I think that it's the one that does the least of the ones that I have. I'm also not sure if Mother of Runes ought to be a four of or not. I really need to experiment with that. I think Revoker is more often going to be useful. Maybe not as impactful when it is useful. I'm tempted to agree with you, because on the one hand, there's a reason why Death and Taxes tends to run four Revokers yeah. and doesn't run any spirits or any Aegis. On the other hand, um, hmm. I think that in this in a format that's being more and more defined by crews, I like Spirit of the Labyrinth a lot more. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm not sure about Aegis. Maybe Aegis needs to I'm pretty sure Aegis needs to get at least one copy guide. I think he should be one of. You think Aegis is a one of? Because by the time you get him, he's usually dead versus, like, Thoughtseize. Um, and most decks, a lot of decks don't even care. True. I can do that. Yeah, I think I can do that. I don't think I can lose the Skype. Yeah, I really I don't think, think I have enough for Infect other than that. What were you about to say? Yeah, I like I like the spell scape. Um, I mean, at least I want to see more of him. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can do any more than one, to be honest. Oh yeah. It's Definitely. a great blocker. Um, unfortunately, since I'm not running any blue lands, it doesn't. It reduces burn damage. It doesn't actually uh, eliminate it. It's kind of the same effect as a dragon squall. Well, yeah, when you put it that way. I... And in desperate times, you can like redirect the fire blast or something. How many lands does Death and Taxes usually run? Well, it really seems right, but. Let me check. And I would definitely main board fetch lands, like maybe three. Right. Maybe not gemstone mine. Now, gemstone, gemstone cavern, does, the reason why gemstone cavern is there is actually because 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Yeah. Um, it just gives me another way to try to get this unusual curve um, out a little bit earlier than I would otherwise be able to. Um, that's why that's there. It also gives me the chance to play swords to plowshares even if my opponent goes first. Sure. Which doesn't come up too often, but is a thing. It has it has worked a little yeah. bit before. Uh, see turn one glistener elf here. 
in particular. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, do you want a proxy mother of rings and test it? We can give it a go, sure. Or if you have mother of rings? I wish. Uh, she's only an uncommon, but when was she printed other than her original set? Or was that it? Pretty sure she was reprinted. I think, I'm tempted to say you're right, but I can't think of where it might have been. Since these are the only proxies in the deck, I think we can just turn them around and treat them as mother of rings. Hmm. Yeah, let's give four mothers a try. Uh, maybe one and one. Jeez. Yeah. The one I'm finding that this deck is okay against, as you as you can guess, against a combo. Mm -hmm. Adding the mother will make it hopefully better against aggro decks, but the one deck that I found in testing, I don't know why I tested against this, actually I do, I think that the, uh, the changes that are being made to high tide, thanks to dig through time being so good, turning it from uh, spiral tide into solidarity, make it a lot cheaper, and if it's a lot cheaper, it's a lot more accessible, and if it's more accessible, more people play it, especially if people like Feline keep putting great results for it. Uh, so, I kept testing against that. I've never lost a game against High Tide. Spirit just keeps them from drawing. Aegis keeps them from targeting me with the, the final either Brain Freeze or Loose Sun Zenith. Mm -hmm. uh, Aether Swarm very makes it. Yeah, very little removal. Aether Swarm keeps them from playing more than one a turn anyway. Um, Spell Sky doesn't really do much there. Thalia makes things more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, I just I can't find myself losing. Seems like a very good matchup for you. It's it's probably not going to come up very much. I've never in a competitive environment actually actually let me do this again. Let me sort them this way as I should have done to start. Mom is four forty five. Four forty five. Okay. Or is this legacy? I guess. Oh, or is this legacy? Okay. And then there's F and M promo. Oh, Twenty seven. Okay. Makes sense. That's the one you want. Woo! I wish. I wish. Wish commander. I'm running the. Uh, Conspiracy source to plowshares instead of any of the fancier ones. So even though I've got the the GP battle, well, the GP batter skull, just because I went to a GP. Even though I've got the Judge promo Gte, I'm rocking conspiracy swords. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's nothing to be ashamed about. You're right. You're right. I'm kind of to the point now where I've traded about as much as I feel like trading. After those walls, I think that's about where I. I've gotten rid of about everything that I think I can um, without getting mad at myself as a, as a magic collector. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone on, on the internet can convince me to trade a, maybe a primeval titan or something from back in my 12 post days. Anyway, my musings aside, my ramblings aside. Mm -hmm. I'll never tire of your ramblings, Jay. I'm gonna pick randomly and see if we still manage to get rock paper or rock and scissors. I hope do we this. do. All right, looking away. I'm looking at you. Mwah, love you. All right, it's mine. You got it. Not this time. You got me though. Not this time. The curse has been broken. I'll take the play. Right. You cut. All right. Updated deck. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> um, I'll keep. I will keep as well. Alright. Oh, can I cut it? Yes. Swiss beer. Attack for one. That's a. Last turn. Wow. Oh, cast it. Okay. Last turn. Do 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 do
I like that. the turn to you. No, I'll pass the turn to Willie, my germ token. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he needs a cane, I think. He does. I didn't draw that, but if I... I think the monocle is what I'm... If I had drawn that, I would have added a monocle. Oh, you yeah. You kind of see where monocle there's an eye? Yeah, I think that's an eye. A cane and a monocle. Good ideas all there. Okay. Alright, you ready for this crazy play? Here we go. Eva, if I name the deck after you, I better win at least one with it. Come on. And then she shakes her head at me. You can't set such high expectations for children so soon. <laughs> and then she cries. She's not setting... She, that translates to she's not setting high expectations for me, period. I'll float blue red. Okay. Here we go. Yes. For fire blast. Okay. No, gosh, is it legal? Oh wait. Cruise. Hi, Cruise. That'll do it. Swing three. All aboard the. Okay. So that'll do it. Yeah. Let's double count and make sure. Faster. Woo! You can do this. I guess Pithing Needle is also good against Stoneforge. That's true. Um, that's interesting. And Deathrite Shaman. So, do you think you bring it in against Deathblade? Um, Stoneforge and Deathrite. Yes. And Batterskull. And GTA. Yeah, I think I do. It's good. I think it's good later. Once they cast the thing. Batterskull, GTA, and Swords. Oh my! Batterskull. I'm debating. Something that shouldn't be an issue. <coughs> cards in there. I can't, don't have to worry about days, but Force of Will is a thing. Mother of Rings? Sure. 
Because it's a possibility, Grim Lava Mancer. Although, in my heart of hearts, Stormcrow. I'm past turn. Come to the light side, we have dryads. <laughs> nah. Let's keep it on the play mat, keep it cleaner. Pass turn. Mm. Is that the f man? I'm just Yep, that's number four. Okay. That's... Okay. That, that, that's a thing. Yes. Casting Ponder. Seem good? Okay. Fire and Ice, Batter Spell. Okay. I'll draw my card. Okay. I forgot to do that way too many times. It happens. And... Swing for three each. Block. Give itself protection from red. Sure. Alright. Go to 11. Faster. Alright. I'll play reveal. Pitching days, okay. Mother? Mm hmm. Results. Swing two. Go to eleven. Pass turn. Mm -hmm. Let's see, 
so I have, I think it's four windswept heats. Um, put three in for three of the planes, something like that. Make it a three and three. Um, yeah, I like that. It's just such an easy combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this again. Now this this makes me want to have four spirits and two revokers. So it's just two each. Mm -hmm. Put me to nine. Last turn. All right. Double mother on mine. What's better than one mom? Two moms. <laughs> yep. It's really good. Frexian Revoker will attack. Two. Okay. We want to attempt to resolve a Batter Skull. Batter Skull resolves. Ooh. Our classy gentleman gets to come out. Pass turn. Given that the Mother of Runes would have been Aegis of the Gods in all likelihood, it looks really nice to have Mother in this spot. It actually does. I think you were right. I shouldn't have just rejected it a priori like I did because it's kind of the secret sauce, as you said. Well, you didn't say it quite like that. It's what was missing. You get to looking over a deck on your own so many times, and even testing it on your own so many times, and you, you may think it's great, and then you get another perspective and realize, wait a minute, nope, you can do better. If only you had known. No, that's not the lesson I should take. The lesson that isn't the lesson isn't that I should just be a know more about this game, know everything like addiction, like like, a, like the Wikipedia of magic. Maybe it's just that one person can't do it all. You have to get another perspective. Here I am rambling. I'm trying to fill the silence for the camera. Is what's going on? I'm trying to say something. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Last turn. I would like to give the germ token protection from red. Swing four on its own. Taking three. Or um, four. Taking four. Unless I'm missing something on the field that's making no, it weaker. One, two, three. Okay. I guess I'm not typically a white mage, and so... Especially when I'm getting into this field, I should always ask for other opinions, other views.
Mother number, yes. Yeah. yeah. Mother number three. Canonist. In response. I'll bolt. Uh, that mother of hers. There's too many cards in your hand for you to not have something up your sleeve. But you're already protected from red. It has to be a creature I control. I'll have her protect herself from red. Okay. In and response. I'll let you roll this for the friends. Okay. And, and then it results. And results. All right. This is a really bad card against you. Unless I'm just keeping you off of a one line hand somehow. This is a really bad card. You don't have to use it. I don't have to use it, but... 5 is actually the highest, and I've already cast the 1-5 in my deck. Hmm. How many cards are left in your hand? Two. Then it probably doesn't make a difference whether I use it or not. Pass turn. If you have Treasure Cruise, either you'll just delve it, or you'll just pay the mana from it on the field. Either way, you'll get the same math. With only two cards in your hand, it's probably not going to affect how many you can cast, actually. I'll go to two. Except right here. Um, no, it's fine, it's fine. Because that's five mana, and five man mana means hard casting force of will. Then I think it becomes relevant. The, the classic Bob Marr versus, what was it, Brian Davis? Back in the day, uh, Mono Black Necropotence versus Bob Marhead. I guess Bant Tutors. I don't think I can win. But. I can cast Treasure Troops. <laughs> Always! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, and I can't cast any more spells. That's it. Alright. Good game. Let's try this again. No, no, good game, man. Thank you. Alright. I am definitely tired. That's, that's okay. You want to finish this two out of three? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> have no energy? I have energy for magic. Well, we already know how I'm doing this, I imagine. Although... Well, I wasn't going to run this card in the final sideboard anyway, so it's fine. Although... Although... Maybe there I should have... I mean... Yeah, I knew your hand, so... I just... I guess I wasn't betting on you ripping a land. But I could have exiled Treasure Cruise instead of Days. So that I could have potentially countered both swords. Hmm. But, I guess I got greedy. I hear you. You know, I actually considered having a Hex Parasite in the sideboard for fighting against Planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if that's where I need to be, though. Yeah. It is a one-drop, so the deck I'm most worried about fighting Planeswalkers in is going to always counter it, basically. Um, miracles. One other fun little thing that I found when uh, testing this deck out that made me jump to Four Horizon Canopies is that in response to a spell like, say, uh, say Show and Tell, mm -hmm. uh, cast Enlightened Tutor, uh, get the card to the top of the deck, then use Horizon Canopy to get it in my hand. 
I think the most complicated thing I've ever done in, uh, in response to a brainstorm, there's an ether violet too, and I did that to get a uh, spirit of the labyrinth into my hand and then flashed it in. So that's probably the silliest thing I've ever done with it. Ay, ay, ay. I think it may also be that when I test online, because uh, websites like MTG Workstation allow for people to make decks that, oh, no, maybe I don't take you out. Uh, with all the cards being free, since they can afford everything, they, um, they may not go for the most streamlined of decks. I remember the first deck that I ever made on there was a uh, 12 post that used defenders like Overgrown Battlement and Axeban Guardian yeah. to try to ramp into it as an alternate wave, other than just getting the 12 post lands. It was silly. It was terrible. I was not a spike at that point, not to any extent. Hmm. I, I imagine since not every deck that I came up to was exactly tier 1, that that may have influenced how I was testing. That if I tested against more serious decks, I'd see the flaws more easily. Um, I'll, speaking of which, I don't, I think I would, I would, uh, I would have attacked instead of momming, just straight into me. Um, so you would have attacked instead of momming? When? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, instead of giving the, the Badish Skull token protection. Oh, I see. No, I was just making absolutely sure. I didn't think that I was going to lose from that point, but I figured a fire blast. But I see what you're saying. I could have just attacked. You, always, you would you give always the ability. Do in response. Well, then you can block, though. Um, I won't get it straight to your face. Yeah. Maybe I didn't need to. But though. yeah, Maybe I mean, but game. if I'm blocking, then you're winning because you know you're gaining life. And true. True. I don't I'm have to deal it to your face. It's okay if I just do it to your creatures. You're right. You're right. Like if I had lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. Vapor snack, I don't know. Something like that. Oh dear. You're right. I can, I can see that. Okay, come on, deck. What is... Mm. Really? First five cards. <laughs> oh, no, the screen is flipped. You're good. Wow. Um, well, let's see what the other two are. Really? <laughs> Okay. Good God. Well, that's interesting. Um, well, I'm going to keep. <laughs> uh, would you like to show it off? This is a, Oh, that's the last one, by the way. It's risky. Yeah, same here. I'll do it. You're keeping? I think that I am keeping, yes. I will pay two life for detecting proof. Alright, so remember I have six different kinds of lands? One, two, three, four, five. Didn't have all of them. The other two are Aether Vial and Phyrexian Revoker. Yeah, that is a risky hand. Yeah, just just a just a lot. Alright, I'll play reveal. Okay, sweet. Alright, I'll draw a card. I'll, I will however be OCD and alphabetize them. At least the lands. And then the old second, the old post Cataxian probe Swiss Spear swing. Oh, I guess you didn't have it, maybe? Nah, I, I don't need to know that. 19. Okay. Go ahead. Results. Ether by results. Alright. Pass turn. Pay two for proof. The new card is a Helm of Obedience, which Jeez. did not come out this time. Draw. Okay. Pithing Needle? Yes, I results. wonder what we're naming. <laughs> Yeah, you see gone. my hand. Yes. Okay. Swing four three. Ouch. 
Jeez, okay. Uh, faster. Alright. I'm just gonna set you over here. Just, I guess it's possible. I'll still get the trigger out of it, but, you know. Okay, you got a ring. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh well. <laughs> Quite the top deck. <laughs> Quite the top deck. Oh uh, god. Um, I'm gonna try. Fast turn. I don't know if you can kill me quickly enough. Depends what I draw right now. Amen. That really helps. Okay. Mm. I guess we better start with a Delver. Swing one. Fifteen. Fast turn. I'll roll it to two. Do you want to whistle at me? Stoneforge Mystic? Results. I can make a case for all of my equipments, but, but right now, make the right one to get. I know you have. That's why I didn't find you. I think I want a GTA here. Seems good. Sort them by curve, by cost rather, and then pass the turn. Swisher. Hi, Swisher. Swisher boys and girls. <laughs> There's something going on here. Uh. Mystic will block the Delver. Okay. All right. Before Four damage. damage. Yeah. Pass Electric Creed on the Mystic. Hi. You take four. Yes, I do. And I'll pass the turn. It's. I guess it's one of those things. You know something's going to happen, but you still can't really do much about it. You still kind of have to. All right. Well, that's a draw. Provoker? Mm hmm. G take? Mm hmm. Pass turn.
Brainstorm. Yes. No, yes. Ah, uh, poor Aether Vial. Showing up well. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Mono white zero drop stifle. Four damage, no blockers. No blockers, um, four damage. Yes. Cast Brainstorm. Okay. When you put back a treasure cruise, I don't actually know that's what you were doing. And but. yeah, that's it. All right, I'm at seven. Aspirin? Hey. Alright. I'm going to assume that it's in there. So which plane do I go on? You may have an answer for both. I don't know. I give you another turn without doing anything. Hmm, no, that's not right. I was about to say bolt will kill me. Bolt and two prowess triggers, but the bolt goes to my face, I have a blocker, so that's not right. Which one do I go for? Which one do I go for? Because right now, you two can try to go for a helm win right here, but if he counters it, I have one land, one mana left. Otherwise, I could try to go on the GTA route. Try to build back up from there. How many cards in hand? Three. Days won't get there. Double days can get there, but days on its own won't get there. But I don't see any forces in the exile. In exile. Yeah, no forces. Okay. Quick GTA? Yep. Swing? Damage? Yes. Alright. So deal you two. Two counters.
make his results. Past turn. Uh, targeting yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you see your own hand. Okay. You can't. Yeah, pick me. Go and block one of them. Mm -hmm. Four damage. Like to remove a counter for that sister. Mm -hmm. So they'll try. And get down to five. Best turn. Combat. Swing. No blocks. Damage. Yep. Helm. This. Yeah, if I pay it, I won't be able to activate it this turn. Pay Anything it. else? Yeah, I'm paying it. Going down to four. I'll fetch. Uh, in response to the fetch... Hmm. Cards in hand now? Two. Just the two? Alright. We already have two mountains for a fire blast, if that's what you're gonna do. Go for it. Go for the fetch. Double days. Oh no? Yep, double days. Double days, the hard cast. Okay. That'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Uh, 
past turn. Last turn. I think I may have hit a second wind. Oh, yeah. LA resolves. Prexing Revoker and well, combat. Mm -hmm. Attack. Block. Plus two, plus two on the revoker. Go down to two counters. Sure. My four three would like to have a word with your one two. It's not very pleasant. Sorry. Alright, go to four. Main two. Mm hmm. I'll take one. Move the GTA over. Mm -hmm. And actually, if this were. Hmm. It's that split second card that deals two damage. Oh, yeah, sudden shock. Yeah, sudden shock. Oh, joy. Pass turn. I'll be dead. And it was Aether Vile and Phyrexian Revoker. Mm. Yeah. Oh, jeez, man. Good game. Yeah. Oh, good games, no. Thank you. Boy, that mother was incredible. Yeah, she's I'd a good, say. very good card. Yeah, you three mothers. <laughs> this game didn't have any, but... Just makes combat a nightmare. That rest in peace. How many treasure cruises did you have to put back from Brainstorm, if you don't mind my asking? Just one. Just one. But then I had one in my last hand. Ah. So the rest actually, I don't know. Maybe that should have stayed in. Maybe. No, I don't. I don't know. What the combo? But when I was sighting in previous matches, I sighted out rest because I was sighting out helm. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that should have stayed in or not because treasure cruise is just that good. I don't know. By itself, I don't think it's very good. I'm inclined to agree. I actually changed the way that I sideboarded as a result of uh, putting in Mother of Runes. 16 one drops meant I didn't put in Chalice of the Void. Um, maybe I could have. I'm not sure. You could put in another, uh, like, Elon, or, uh, sorry, Spirit of Labyrinth. Well, I've, I reduced it to only three in the main board and zero in the side. Oh, you mean like when I build it next time? Mm -hmm. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. 
um, for whatever that's worth. There's Agus again. And what else? And I wish I had another deck built. Um, after class today, hopefully I can get around to that. So that you can come back and in addition to Pack Wars... Spoiler alert! Pack Wars tomorrow! Uh, we'll be able to just add in another Legacy game or three. Yeah, sounds good. Or ten. I'll try to get the uh, cards I need as well. Okay. So I can have an easy conversion. Fair enough. For uh, blue, white, red. Um, what else did I cite out? I actually don't remember. Oh, there you go. Okay. So I'm going to switch you out. I could be very wrong, but I'm under the impression personally that the meta is moving in such a direction that spirit can be better, is, is better than Revoker, but I may be wrong. If nothing else, the power, I think, is a tiebreaker. There's a, lo a lot of matchups where you know, they'll both, you know, either one will be useless, mm -hmm. but, but a three the power is better is than a two. <laughs> yes, yes. All other things being equal. Um, and I think it may also be the case that there's a little more, just a little more artifact hate than enchantment hate in Legacy. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is mutual, so like wear and tear, for instance, is huge for a reason. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, but Smash Smithereens doesn't. Mm -hmm. There it is, Ratchet Bomb. That's the one. Uh, same shtick. No chalice. In exchange for O Ring and Crucible, um, I didn't think that I needed too durable removal against you, actually. It's just too expensive. Yeah. In this case. Alright, but as an idea, what do you think? Just as a... As a concept, do you think it's alright? The deck? Yeah, the deck. Um, yeah. It's, um, uh, it's got a lot of good elements to it. Um, you know, I haven't seen it go off, like, it hasn't done, it hasn't, like, played Enlightened Tutor for the combo in one, or... True, yeah. For an answer, but it, it's just had those things naturally when it did win, so... Mm -hmm. You're right, it's, it's being odd today, admittedly, but... I also like the suggestions that you made, especially the mother in the fetch lands. Uh, what were the other? Do you remember any other suggestions you made about it? Because um, those two, of course, are the ones that st uh, stand out most to me. Um, um, the cuts, just the cuts for them. We we talked a good bit about uh, crucible and about how many uh, egg is going down to one. I I look back at and I agree with. Um, one, maybe two, but I think one is fine. I think one is fine. Um, there's got to be an artifact. I another artifact that goes, or artifact or enchantment that could go in the main board. Well, finding one drops would be brilliant, which is one reason why I prioritize hex parasite so much. But one drop paras, uh, one drop artifacts or enchantment creatures. Now that we have a few. Um, there aren't a lot that I'm crazy about. There's Hex, there's Signal Pest. Oh! No, not really. Um, Hopeful Eidolon and Nyxborn Shieldmate are one drops, but I don't want either of those in a deck that where every creature needs to really do something. Um, paying four to give a creature plus one plus one in lifelink is not where I'd like to be. And one ones that don't turn into three twos. Yeah, no, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Or Grimlock Mancer. Or Heritage Druid. Never mind. You never. Mind. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Also, this sleeve is very off flavor from the the deck itself. <laughs> well, he's got white on him. He does have white. And he's got a. Artifact hand. He looks like he's the reddest. I mean, he's not wearing all red, but he looks like he's just angrily trying to kill you in one stroke, as opposed to, you know, the guy over in the workshop trying to build a machine that's. I don't know. Whatever. Go forth, my robot, Doctor Robotnik. 
This made me think that my deck is somehow Dr. Robot <laughs> neck. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Uh, I guess colors. there are too many enchantments. Yeah. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Alright. 